Hey everyone, so let's take a look at question number 16 here. It says the tangent to the curve with the equation y equals 1 over x squared at the point 1 half comma 4 meets the axis at p and q. Find the coordinates of p and q. Okay, so first it says the tangent to the curve. So what we need to do is find the tangent to the curve at that point. So we're going to start by finding the slope of the line tangent to the curve, which is the derivative. So let's start by taking the derivative of y equals 1 over x squared. Now that's the same thing as y equals x to the negative 2. So if I'm going to take the derivative of this, dy dx, that would simply be negative 2x to the negative 3, which we can write this as negative 2 over x to the third. So there's the slope of the line tangent to the curve. Now what I need to do is figure out at this point what that equation would be. So to find the slope at this point, I'm going to go ahead and substitute in my x's one half here um, and figure out what that slope is. So the slope would be negative 2 over 1 half to the third, which we can reduce down here to 2 over 1 to the third over 2 to the third, which would be 8. And then simply here multiply by the reciprocal multiply by 8 over 1, and we'd wind up with negative 2 times 8, which is negative 16. So the slope of our line is negative 16. Now we need to go ahead and get what the full equation would be. So I'll put that back into y equals mx plus b in this case. And actually, you know what? Let me bring that up over here. So let's do y equals mx plus b. So I'm going to go ahead and substitute in this point and my slope that I got. So the y value there is 4, the slope is negative 16, the x value is 1 half, and we're going to go ahead and solve for what that b value would be. So then we're going to wind up with 4 equals negative 8 plus b, and I simply add 8 to wind up with that b equals 12. So the equation of the tangent line is then y equals negative 16x plus 12. So there's the tangent line. So the tangent line. Now the question here, though, says the tangent line to this curve at that point meets the axes at P and Q. So when it meets the axes, you're looking for what the intercepts are. What is the x-intercept? And what is the y-intercept? Well, in this case, the y-intercept is just the b value. We already found it. So it's that point there, 0, 12. So there's our y-intercept. So there's one of our points. And then we need to get the other point here. And to get the other intercept, so here we let the x value be 0. To get the other one, we're going to let the y value equal 0. So we'd say 0 equals negative 16x plus 12. To find the x-intercept, I would simply minus off the 12. And we get negative 12 equals negative 16x. And we divide by negative 16 here. Negative 16. We get negative 12 over 16, which reduces to 3 over 4. So we also get the point 3 over 4, comma 0. And there are two points P and Q. Okay, so I hope this helps. Uh, if you have any questions on this, again, feel free to leave them in the comments below.